Hi kids! Today we will be learning about solid column graphs. So let's get started. Misrecorded the number of books read by students in her class and depicted it as a graph where symbol of one book represents five books. Now, let's answer a few questions based on this graph. Now, can you tell? Bob read how many books? Let's count. There are two book symbols and one book stands for five books. Where symbol of one book represents five books. So, five plus five or five times two equals to ten. So, Bob read ten books according to the graph. Can you tell Cheryl read how many books? Let's count. There are four book symbols. And one book means five books. Five plus five plus five plus five or five times four equals twenty. So Cheryl read twenty books. Now, can you tell Maurice read how many books? Let's count. There are three book symbols and one book means five books. So, Maurice read five plus five plus five or five times three equals fifteen. That is, Maurice read fifteen books. Now, who read the maximum number of books? books. There are five book symbols against the name of Kim, which is most of all. So Kim read the maximum number of books also. One book stands for five books here. So Kim read five times five equals twenty-five. That is twenty-five books. So, Kim read 25 books, which is the most of all. Now, who read the least number of books? There is only one book symbol against the name of Raj, which is the least of all. So, Raj read the least number of books, that is, five books. Now, how many students read more books than Maurice? Let's find it out. There are two columns where there are more book symbols than Maurice. So, two students read more books than Maurice. Now, can you tell who read more books than Cheryl? Let's find it out. There is one column where there are more book symbols than Cheryl. And that column belongs to Kim. So, Kim read more books than Cheryl. Now, who should be the winner of book reading competition? Yeah! Kim! As Kim read the maximum number of books. Good. Now let's take another example. Here is a graph showing the number of taxi drivers in different cities. And one taxi driver stands for 10 taxi drivers. Now let's answer a few questions. Question 1. How many drivers are there in Boston? 
There are three driver symbols against Boston, where one symbol says 10 drivers. So, 10 plus 10 plus 10 or 10 times 3 equals 30. That is, 30 drivers are there in Boston. Now, how many drivers are there in Berlin? There are two driver symbols against Berlin. Where one symbol means 10 drivers. So, 10 plus 10 or 10 times 2 equals 20. That is, 20 drivers are there in Berlin. Now, which city has least number of taxi drivers? There is only one driver symbols against Milton. So, Milton has the least number of drivers. Now, which city has maximum number of taxi drivers? There are four driver symbols against Lexington. So, Lexington has the most or maximum number of drivers. Question 5. How many fewer drivers are there in Berlin than Lexington? Let's figure it out. There are two driver symbols against Berlin and four driver symbols against Lexington. So, 4 minus 2 equals 2. So, there are two more driver symbols against Lexington. And we know one symbol stands for 10 drivers. So, 2 times 10 equals 20. So, 20 more drivers are there in Lexington than Berlin. Good! Wasn't it so interesting to find out facts from a graph? Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye bye Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.